Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of June general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys have been well. So Virgo, Summer Rising Venus Individuals, when I was meditating... Over your energy, the song that I heard was Let's Wait a While by Janet Jackson. Now, Janet Jackson happens to be a Taurus. So, you could be dealing with Taurus, someone rising Venus individual, or you could have these placements as well. Now, what I also heard when I was meditating is you might want to pump the brakes on this conversation. So, there's some type of conversation that needs to be had. It has to be had. But I also feel like you need to wait before you dive into that because I feel like either you could be doing it after hearing something in, in the com the communication could be impulsive and possibly explosive. And I do want to talk about that. You guys know I do a lot of shuffling. I don't put any cards in any specific placement. It doesn't benefit me or you. Okay. I don't gain anything from it. But I want to show you guys what's at the very bottom of the deck. Okay. Bottom and the back. Bottom of the deck, you got the king of wands. <laughs> bottom of your clarifying deck, you got the king of wands. If you notice, this king's back. Is facing him. It didn't come this way where it's like the cards like this where they would be facing each other or he would be facing him. He has his back turned. So it's kind of like just being not able to agree on anything and both people being stubborn and stuck in their ways. Really look at his facial expression here. Eyebrows all scrunched up like, why well, I say what I said and what I say is right. You see how he's looking like he's he's not bending. He won't bend. He's going to he or she put it where it applies in your situation. Either way it goes, there's two people who are being stubborn maybe hearing things the way that they want to hear in a situation. You got to be real with yourself because you might be sitting here saying, right, Queen, shut your ass up because what you're saying ain't true. I'm telling you right now, you guys know I'm a Virgo rising. You got to keep it funky with yourself. You may be wanting to believe what you want to believe in a situation. There could have been an argument. And I feel like if it was an argument recently, I promise you I'm getting the energy like it was something so petty that did not need to go this far. It could have been something that will go pretty far if you don't hold off and and woosah before you address the situation okay so you you could be dealing with fire sign also leo sage aries with both of these king of wands at the bottom of the deck in the very back you have the tower okay scorpio aries energy now this man is new nudity talks about vulnerability being exposed you need to wait before you say something because you could be opening a whole can of worms and i mean bust wide open okay the tower is an unexpected halt some type of um, chaos that comes, some chaos calamity that comes out of a situation. But I feel like, again, I'm going to say you need to wait before you address this because the next card is the will of fortune. You may find out that you both have a bit of a chip on your shoulder and you want direct things to go your way. This is a compass. Compasses give you directions, right? That devil, that devil is also the ego. So you both may be in your egos about the situation. So you want to hold off. Hold, really, I want you to really look at this again. Hold off. Before you have this conversation, at least see you calm down. Because keep in mind, fire is flames. And, and flames is energy, vitality, passion, rage, anger also. Be mindful of, of allowing yourself to calm down. Because you know how if you address things immediately, it can take a very bad turn. Especially when you're angry. And it does feel like there's anger associated with that energy. So just think about that first, okay? So let's go ahead we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the hermit. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Virgo, someone where and Venus, okay? Bottom of the deck, you got the death card. Okay, you want to put an ending to this. I feel like you both are going to put some type of ending to it, and it could be a transfer, positive transformation if that. Death card is a death, a rebirth, transformation. Could be dealing with Scorpio, someone where and Venus individual. Also, it could be like a dead silence, between you and this person, the death card. It could literally be a dead silence between you and this person. Also, if you notice, there's no eyeballs here. It is no flesh or anything, but I'm just, you know, the sockets are really standing out to me. Somebody's being accused of something that they didn't even see. They didn't factually see this happen. It's like they're just assuming something. Something is not clear here. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm also getting someone had a dream about something specific and, and things in those dream is like actually playing out. And so it's making you feel as though like, okay, this is true. What I picked up and what I predicted is true. And for some of you guys, it is. It, it, it is. Someone's first male last initial could be X, I, D, T, or H as well, okay? So again, we want to get the hermit. Card comes before, card comes after. 
there's going to be some type of forward movement in cancer season as you do have the chariot and we are in cancer season. There's going to be some type of forward movement in this situation, but you may, like I said, you may want to pump the brakes. The chariot is a divine automobile. Automobiles have what brakes? If you see, it doesn't look like they're moving because they're stone figures, which means they're just sitting. Pump the brakes on this situation before you address it, okay? Because I'm hearing the hook of the song, let's, let's wait a while before we go too far. That's what the hook of the song says. Let's wait a while. And I know she's not talking about arguments. She's talking about an intimate situation, but I am getting in, in channeling this. Let's wait a while before we go too far, before the conversation, this argument goes too far where we can't retract our statements. We can't take back those hurtful things that I said. Just wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, because it can go too far. Three of Wands. And then, you know, there's going to be some bad. That's what I said. I feel like moving forward, you guys will see something positive in the future. And you guys will be able to balance the situation out. And didn't I say I was making such a big to-do about those eyes in the death card? You can't see her eyes either. So someone is angry about something that they didn't even see. They don't even have proof of something. And that's why they're saying, like, pump your brakes. Hold on now. Sit tight. You know? Because you may move forward on something. That could, you know, it could affect the nature of this relationship, okay? Be careful about that because you, you need to think it out. That's all I'm going to say. So, again, we want to get the Hermit, the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the visuals. Yeah, I keep hearing pumpy brakes. Okay, also, somebody, some there could have been some damage to a car. Hmm, I'm getting that also. Someone's teenager or child. May have damaged someone's car also without, you know, someone allowed this person permission of a car and then without asking. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of scenarios here. Like, you could have felt like this person violated you. Like, you didn't even ask me. You just allowed something to happen. Like, how dare you? Okay. So, right in front of you, I'm trying to tell you guys what I'm getting. Look, this is you. Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands with all the commotion. The Knight of Wands want all the smoke. This is an explosive argument. This explosive, like, uh, reaction. When that volcano erupts, it's quite volatile, right? He's ready to go to war. Head to has got his arm on. Nice to either going into battle or coming out of battle. You're facing that direction. That's what I'm telling you. I feel like you and this person both are kind of like, okay, what I feel is true. And, and that could be the case, but it's like, don't speak too soon. Sort of is yes, sort of down to no. Source communication, man. So don't speak too soon because you don't. Didn't I say in the very beginning how I kept noticing with the death card, the eye sockets? Of course, there was no flesh, so it was just a skeleton all together. But the eyes really stood out to me how they were hollow. There was no eyeballs in there, so you couldn't see something clearly. And now we're ending with this card, and this is in your spread. Her eyes are covered. So it's somebody, you don't see that there could be a very positive outcome. This is your energy. There could be a very positive outcome, but you got to let down your guard. Cause he ready for look. He ready to take it to the take it to the streets. And 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 I didn't intend to say that, but you guys know there's no such thing as accident. So I'm getting, I'm gonna say again something with somebody's car. It was some damage because somebody did something reckless. Somebody could have been drinking and driving. Like say for instance, you your person borrowed your car and they went out to a function or something like that, and and they come back and there's scrapes and scratches all over it and. Did not take responsibility for it, something like that. Or like I said, you could be dating someone and their child could be a teenager and, and they allowed the child to use your car and didn't ask you about it. I'm just getting a bunch of different scenarios. If that doesn't apply, I'm just putting it out here for whomever it relates to. But overall, this is like, don't jump into something too quickly because out of all four nights, he's the fastest. He's going to be the first one on the front line to jump into that battle. So be, be mindful about that. Put your swords down. Swords is also a tool for battle also. Put your sword down. Let's go ahead, bottom of the deck, eight of cups, walking away from things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling. I'm going to say this again. Be very careful about that, jumping into things, because you could be reacting emotionally. And I've been saying this in mostly all the readings. If you have not seen that that recent, um, my Wednesday, the collective reading, go ahead and check it out. Because I did say in there, and I spoke about that very clearly, if you react on something, or, or there's going to be a lot of people reacting in ways that they haven't typically like, they don't typically act very emotionally about things. I feel like a lot of people will now because, of course, we are in the water sign season. And that affects everybody differently. What is your emotions and feelings? So, you know, you could be, you or your person, somebody could be reacting to something very aggressively, very emotionally, and they don't typically do so. 
because it's, it's this time frame, this energy, we're an energetic, watery, energetic portal. And so someone is dealing with things in a way that they don't typically, and they could just jump the gun emotionally. And I, I feel like you and this person, because you have two swords that are down, not one up, one down. Both people need to just kind of chill. You see how there's like an X right there? Like pump your brakes. Stop. Don't, don't jump into that too quickly now. Or else somebody's going to be like, okay, I want to leave. Let's part the deck. Two of Wands need to choose a destination or a direction to go in. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's going to have to give. I know you're like, well, why do I have to give? Why do I have to be the one? Somebody's going to have to give. Or at least give each other. You both need to give each other time. Like, say, for instance, you're not the one who wants to be all hostile and angry and, you know, wanting to address something. If this person comes to you saying, like, I want to do this, and you're never fussing, da, da, da. you know what? Mm -mm. I'm going to pump the bricks for both of us. I'll talk to you when you calm down. Call me when you calm down. See me when you calm down. Somebody's going to have to take the initiative. It doesn't mean that you have to go in the door and apologize for it. But nothing's gonna, nothing good is going to come out of this, this hostile exchange. Because I'm telling you right now, look and look here. As soon as I picked it, this card up, you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I feel like you. this person makes you happy. You guys can be very happy together. But not if you want to dress it this way. Something, you know, needs to be a little grace in the situation. Page of Cups, Page of Messengers. We are in the water sign season. It's like, as far as communication goes, it needs to do it when you're calm. Moon, things, hidden things, unknown things you have clarity about so you can get some type of resolve. I want you to look at how you see how these moons are almost kind of similar here. So there's secrets or someone feels like someone's keeping a secret, like hiding something from them. Hmm. Something could have happened in Gemini season, which we just left out of. And... You may have heard something, but again, I feel like the information is skewed, okay? You could be, you or your person could have been born in the year of the snake, or somebody could feel as though someone snaked them out. You got the Ten of Cups. Did I not just show you guys this? You got the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and, and all this is upright. You know, there are reversals in these decks now, right? You see? I, I just want you, look, there's reversals. Look, you got the Ten of Swords reversed. So there's reversals here. I'm just letting you know the fact that this is upright. This could affect the family structure. This could be involving family. But I feel like overall, you and this person could be very happy together if you guys learn how to communicate better. That's what I'm getting here. That's going to clarify for the Knight of Wands. Clarify for the Knight of Wands. Okay. And that flew out and landed right on top of it. <laughs> Hair of uh, Taurus energy. So you guys need to look. Did I not say Janet Jackson, the person who sings the song, Let's Wait a While, she's a Taurus. That's Taurus. Something could happen Taurus season. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You got a strong Taurus in your chart. But also, if you see, he's a mediator. And you see how he has his hands up like, look, just wait. Like, pump your brakes. Is that not what he's doing? And I've been saying this since the beginning. Hold on. Just wait a minute. Because you guys may take this too far. You see how you have the keys here? You you and this person love each other. And you see how the keys are crossing each other? You guys are just at an impasse, at a crossroad. It's very interesting. Also, two completely different decks. Look at that. You see how that's crossed right here? You see how the keys are crossed? I feel like you guys are cross with each other right now. Like, literally, not wanting to hear what the other person has to say. But I'm going to tell you something. You both will lose if you don't, like, allow each other to calm down in a situation. You may have to walk away, get in your car, take a drive, get some air, you know. I was going to clarify for this two of swords. Clarify for two of swords. Yeah, I'm just getting stubbornness and ego-based energy here. Hmm. Emperor. That's what I'm saying. I'm, this is the, look, you got two major icons. These are two very predominant and powerful figures. I'm going to tell you right now, you and your person both have very strong personalities. And that's why it's so hard for you two to kind of back down when you feel like you have been wronged. Keep in mind, in the very beginning of this deck, in, in both of these decks, right, you had the King of Wands twice. You have two very powerful, predominant energies here. Both of these people are major icons. So that's a definite energy. So they feel like, don't question me. Or don't tell me that what I'm saying is wrong or that, you know, what I think is not actual. These are two people who are non-conforming. They're not going to be. No, no, he's traditional. The hair is traditional. The emperor is very much like, I don't give a damn what you say. Okay. I said this and I said what I said and that's what it's going to be. This is a more traditional person. Not so much with this emperor energy with the Aries. But either way it goes in both scenarios, they're both very strongly, very strongly guided to trust their own gut feeling their own um thought process about things they don't typically look for other people to give them advice because they're the ones giving advice they came to him for advice he's a very strong leader 
very stoic leader at that. So you both are being stubborn. And you'll see that that's the case. But I feel like if you're watching, I feel like you'll see this more than this other person. And like I said, it doesn't mean that you have to go and apologize and say, oh, I was wrong. Even if you were wrong, whatever. It could be more so like, okay, let's talk when we calm down. Because right now ain't going to be the good time. Ain't nothing good going to come out of this. Let's, let's just give each other some space. I feel like that's what needs to happen here. I do. So that it won't, you know, won't cause a loss of a situation that keeps showing you all of this energy. Why would you want to lose that? I wouldn't. A stable home, a happy home. Why would you want to, you know, or a, a potential of that? Why would you want to lose that? You don't. So I feel like if you're watching this, you you are going to be the one that's going to be the bigger person and say, okay, even if you have to tell this person about themselves, I feel like you'll do it in the right time. You'll choose not to do it initially in the moment. And if you have already and you guys are at an impasse in a situation and you're not talking to someone right now, you may need to be the person to step up now that things have calmed down. Again, that's free will. You do what you want to do. But I do definitely feel like um, you're going to be the bigger person in this situation here. Okay, so Virgo, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.